security firm called TK Tech Security. We have video footage over the last few years and photographic evidence and testimonies of them smashing family homes, doors in with sledgehammers, knowing that the homeowner is talking on the other side of the door and has their head to the door. We have them going around with baseball bats, intimidating old women and farmers. K Tech are in our targets and our sights. About a month ago, we called a protest at the Irish Country Music Awards at the City West Hotel in Dublin. Why, why call a protest there? K Tech have a permanent contract with City West. We can't ask a householder to boycott uh, K Tech. They're not the standard normal relationship, so we have to go to their customers, just like we did 120 years ago. K Tech have tried to intimidate family members of proactive National Land League activists over the last month because of this protest. But then they made a big mistake. They went into court and they got injunctions against members of the National Land League of Ireland. Temporary injunctions to prevent them having a civil, peaceful protest at a hotel. They removed our right to assembly, or they think they did, and they removed our right to free speech. Well, we have a response, a national response, that's going to be made right here, right now. It's a response from the National Land League across the country. And if you think that response says that we are backing down, you have something else coming. Every time you get an injunction, it's just a Every injunction will be broken. If we go to jail, we will be criminals of, of con sorry, prisoners of conscience. Whereas the history will judge them as criminals. We're not afraid to go to jail. Because we know that this crisis, the last time the nation was in this state, was 120 years ago, and thousands went to jails. And the jails were much less pleasant back then. They were cold and they were damp and you were hungry in them. Today, I don't think we'll experience that. So, if some of us have to go to jail for this cause, we're all on for it. But we need you. <laughs> but we need you, outside, still free to spread the word and to become evangelical about this movement for the next year. Because you may not really, it may not sink into your hearts and your minds, but you are change. Change isn't in Dáil Eric. Change isn't over in, 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 in Frankfurt. Change is here and change is now. Our public statement. We're going to ask you to read the public statement in front of you for a moment when we get ready. And Paul Scannell from me, that the eviction, is going to read the public statement. <laughs> Uh, first of all, it's great to see so many people here, and um, especially young kids, because this is really what we're doing for, for the kids. Um, we, we were in Kells during the week, um, there was a family uh, on the threat of eviction. And myself and Damien we were there the night before the sheriff was supposed to come, and they, they wanted to send their, 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 their young son off to uh, his aunties. And um, he held on to the banister screaming that he didn't want to go. And, um, I think Damien there had tears in his eyes, and I wasn't far off myself, but it was, it was anger. And um, so I think that's what we, why we're here today, and why we have to win this fight. It's for the kids. You know, Bobby Sands says, our revenge will be the laughter of our children, and that's what it has to be. Yeah. So, well, uh, just continue on with, this, with the statement here. Um, but before I read the statement, what I will say is, and it, it says it in the statement, we will not be intimidated by anybody. The men or the women, who they, if they can't get to the men, they try to get to the women, which they try to do in my case during the week. They picked on the wrong woman, I think. And it, it shows that um, he came to try and intimidate my wife when I wasn't there. And uh, she ran down the garden after him with her phone. phone <laughs> Um, the National Land League of Ireland press statement 17th of January 2015, West Court Hotel, Drogheda. The following statement is the official response of the National Land League of Ireland to recent High Court injunctions granted in the High Court by Paul Gilligan to KTEC Security against supporters of the League and indeed the National Land League of Ireland itself. The injunctions in question were granted at a hearing in which none of the named individuals or the Na National League Provisional Committee were informed or present to defend themselves. The injunctions are tantamount to the removal of the right of the citizens to peaceful protest and free expression and should be of concern to every right-minded citizen in Ireland. The injunctions relate to a boycott protest aiming to convince KTEC security 
to desist from their continued and increasing participation in evictions and the receiverships of small and medium businesses and farms in Ireland. Across the nation, hundreds of thousands of men, women and children face eviction or receiverships and KTEC Security have proven themselves the security firm of choice within the industry. The National Land League of Ireland is in possession of video footage, photographic footage and testimonies revealing paramilitary style KTEC personnel intimidating, assaulting and harassing homeowners and farmers. One film shows KTEC personnel communicating with a homeowner through the home front door whilst at the same time smashing the door down with a sledgehammer. It would appear that KTEC are the yeomanry and militia of today. Only this week, the owner of KTEC, um, one Mr. Kevin McGarry, and his henchmen have been stalking the families of proactive league members, photographing evidence of which we hold in our possession. We have been informed by owners of other security firms that KTEC are abandoning and rejecting morally sound contracts for better paying evictions and receiverships. We have time and again communicated with KTEC, asking them to desist from participating in such immoral activities, but to no avail. In response, the National Land League set itself on a course travelled by the original founders of the League in 1879. We decided it necessary to peacefully boycott KTEC security. As KTEC are not a business householders would have a relationship with, we decided to identify KTEC clients as our medium of boycott. We chose the Sunday World Irish Country Music Awards um, hosted at City West Hotel on the 26th of January 2015. KTEC security is the permanent feature at City West Hotel and although our boycott is not directly aimed at the awards, it is aimed at highlighting through the awards and to the City West Hotel the unethical and immoral practices of KTEC security. In an effort to present, prevent us from acting upon our constitutional right to peaceful assembly and freedom of speech, KTEC have successfully applied for a high court um, injunction preventing us from doing so. We in the National Land League of Ireland refuse to recognise the court order of any court in which we as defendants were not informed of our trial and we were prevented from defending ourselves. Such is not a court or a trial but rather a non judge decree from the app apparatus of tyranny. To obey such a decree would be to cower in the shadow of injustice. We should never do that. <laughs> to accept the removal of our right to peaceful assembly and freedom of speech would be to insult the memory, bravery and determination of the original founders of the League. We shall not desist and we cannot desist. We declare that we shall not be diverted from our course with the threat of imprisonment. We shall not be called to heal whilst half a million men, women and children face eviction and homelessness. We do not encourage or wish to see our supporters jailed for exercising their right to peaceful protest and freedom of speech, but we shall endure whatever we must to uphold these rights. If we are imprisoned, we shall be, we shall be prisoners of conscience and history shall not our accusers as criminals. We say to KTEC Security that we have not yet reached the midnight hour our consistent offers of discussion and negotiations remain extended to you, but we ask that you refrain from participating in evictions and SME and firm receiverships during talks. That is the only condition to, neg to negotiation. If you continue to refuse our offer to talk, we are left with no choice but to continue to plan boycott at City West Hotel, but also to escalate the KTEC boycott campaign nationwide encompassing all KTEC clients throughout the nation. We call on all our supporters to attend the first boycott at protest at City US Hotel on 26th of January at 5pm, the first National Land League of Ireland boycott in 120 years. We ask our supporters to be ready for further escalation of this boycott against KTEC over the coming months. We expect and prepare for the broadening of the boycott net to local solicitors and barristers who assist financial institutions in the asset strip of homeowners, small business people and farmers. As our forefathers in the National Land League of Ireland free themselves from the greed of the landlords, we shall free ourselves from the shackles of banks and their agents. No matter the threat against us, we shall make real the words of Michael David. Let justice be done, though the heavens fall.